Hi everybody, uh, this is a quick video to show you how to shape your dough, your risen dough, into your dough balls. So, here we go. Now this is a 50% hydration dough, so we shouldn't have any issues handling this. So, what we do, I've got my dough scraper here. Again, you just use your fingers if you like, but we're just going to scrape our dough out of bowl. So we just take that out and see comes out very easily very nicely pop that onto our board okay we want to get everything out of the bowl okay scrape it right around oh, but boy, as I say this is a 50% hydration dough so it's very easy to work with okay and that's great for ease of cooking ease of making if you're new to this sort of thing uh, it's just a nice easy dough to work with so what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a bit of a knead just to get it going and again it's just to fold over fold over press down fold over press down wiggle it about a bit jolly jolly okay so this is the recipe in the last video 50 percent hydration so we're going to divide it get your weighing scales okay these dough balls should come out somewhere around 250 so we're going to Give it that. Okay, so that weighs all in 1061. Okay, just grab my phone here. 1061 divided by four, 265 and a quarter. So, okay, that's fine. So what we're gonna do, divide it up. Okay, we wanna go into four. So again, get dough scraper, use a knife, whatever you wanna do, just roughly into four. And then we'll figure it out. Okay, so on the thing, that's 240. So we need another 25. So we're going to take another 25. 251. 264. What do we say it was? 265, 25. So we need another gram on that one. 265. We're going to have a couple of 265 and a couple of 267, I believe. That's 231. So again, we're just portioning up now you can be blase about this if you like you don't have to get it exactly right i like to get it as right as i can so that's 266 this one here is 257 so we get that one to 266 okay that's 265 so this one should be 265 as well. No, 266. There we go. Okay, so two at 266, two at 265. So now we're going to figure out, I'm going to show you how you do the balling. Okay, so we take one of our dough balls. Okay, we'll put the other ones to the side. Now you can see we've got little bits here where we've added, taken away, whatever. So we just give it a quick knead. So again, palm in, bang, flatten it down a bit. Okay, pull a bit over, push it in over push it in over push it in over push it in okay you can do this with fingers like this or you can do it with the heel of your hand like this if you need to slow the video down but basically we're just turning it in on itself for a few goes until you end up okay with a nice thing now when you turn like that you should end up with something like this Okay, now what we do now is we need to get rid of this because we want it to be nice and flat. So pinch it together and pull it up and twist it. So hold it at the bottom. Okay, and what we're going to do is pull and twist. So pull and twist just lightly like this. Okay, so what you're looking for is something that looks a little bit like an onion, a fennel, something like that. So we want to pull it up like this and then we twist the top we twist and twist and twist and what you're looking for is that little knot there okay at the top there so you put your finger and thumb around that and just keep twisting and twisting and twisting until you get to something that looks like this then you want to put your palm on it take the bottom of it with your hand and twist against so one hand one way, one hand the other. And what we're looking for is to get rid of this knot. 
So we just keep twisting. Okay, just keep twisting. One hand one way, one hand the other. Okay, that's all we need to do. And we just keep going with that and keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. Okay, and you can see it's starting to go. You can see it's starting to get flatter. Now we can pull it up again. We can do the same thing, just pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, get the little bit. Okay, twist again, twist again, get the little nodule. Okay, and then again, just let it form. A little bit at the top and then again just twist and twist and twist and twist and twist okay now what you want to do is get it so it's to a point where it's barely visible okay so here we go look barely visible okay now we've still got a bit of work to do there so what we do on the board with the nodule bit side down okay that looks good but we still need to flatten out the bottom bit so take your hand and over okay and what we're going to do is we're going to move the hand like this but we're not gripping the ball if we grip the ball we're just dragging it what we need we need a nice light cage so as we move we're moving the ball but it's also rotating like a planet's elliptic movement okay so we just roll it around like that so rolling it like this okay rolling it like this and we do that for a little bit and what we should end up with when we turn it over is nice and flat okay and you can keep doing that now if you want if you think it still needs a bit of work you can take this you can push the dough a little bit under as you move it around so you can push so that this hand pushes a little bit of the dough under this hand sweeps it around okay so you can do it like this okay so pushing the dough under sweeping it round you can do that for a bit just to tighten up the ball a little bit more okay you will then have that little bit there again do your little swooshy 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 and what you end up with is one lovely dough ball now if you're going to use them that day you need to put them in a tray to have that final bit of proof so some people use flour, I use cornmeal, okay? Fine ground cornmeal. So we put some cornmeal in our tray. Now I use this tray because it's got a lid. You need something with a lid or something that you can cling film. It also has to have a little bit of room to let the balls grow. Remember that, this is very important. You must let your balls grow. And I shall leave a gap there for you to all insert your own jokes. So here we go. You've got your tray there. You take your lovely dough ball, okay, and literally pop it in the tray. Then when you've done the other three, pop your lid on, okay, make sure it's either a fitting lid or a couple of wraps of clean film just to keep it. Leave that room temperature four to six hours and you'll be ready to go with your pizza. Or, as I've said in previous video, you can put them in this tray, in a tray in the fridge for a couple of days, bring them out four to six hours before you want to use them, or you can freeze them, um, lightly oiled in freezer bags, and then take them out, put them in a tray like this 24 hours before you want to use them, and you'll be good to go. Okay, if you've, done this let me know let me know whether it works let me know what you like about the video what you didn't like about the video remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye